Google Plus is more of a networking type of community. When you first join, you want to go into the um, opportunity, the network marketing opportunity ones, and they kind of put it into categories. So they want you to introduce yourself to the group first, which is great because once you do, it's like they just embrace you. They come in and there's these Google experts that say, welcome to Google. I have so many different videos for you to help and to, they give you tips and they're just, it's a great place to be, a very classy. Um, so I would just say make your presence known, like be authentic. Be authentic. When you're reaching out to these women and you're messaging them and they're and they're accepting your friend request, like their posts, comment on it. Don't just get on there to look at them as another sale. Be authentic. You know, same thing with other presenters. Be authentic. If you want to get to know them, get to know them. Um, show show your heart. Show what you have. Follow other leaders. Follow other presenters. Friending them. You know, you see the same thing if you follow them. Make your make your profile public so that they can follow you um, and you can hide some of your albums or whatever it is that you want to do you have to be I think that's the biggest thing build your build it stay consistent just keep going just keep going don't give up since share it is c i n c h share if you have it's like post cron or what did you call it Post suite, it's scheduling your post. If you're going to be gone for the weekend or you have work, if you work for cinch, C I N C H, like it's a cinch, share. And it is, it is a cinch. It's so much easier than post con. It is. You go in and you just, you have one picture and you can, you can even put a link in there and make it, put a YouTube video goes to your fan page and every group you have. So I like to start all my parties on the same day and that way they can be the same continuous post in each one. And bam, done, done. So I don't do it every single time because you know I do wanna be on there for a few other ones, but it comes in very handy. Biggest don't. This is the biggest don't and um, that is don't put your link on other presenters' posts. <laughs> yeah, and it happens a lot. It happens all the time. You know, uplift and, inv and validate your wife's sisters. That does not help them. That just is bad business etiquette. I had someone do that on my main profile today. It was on just a status update from the 80s party, and they're here at convention, and, um, she, somebody said, oh, where are you at? What is unique? And I was probably busy, I don't know, 10 minutes. She says, I could tell you all about it. Here's my link, go check it out. Uh, so I, um, I messaged her, as we should. You know, and I'm not gonna like, be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. You know, no. So I messaged her and I just said, I am so glad that you're here at convention and building your business. I just want to give you a quick tip. Don't put your link on other presenters' posts. It's really bad business etiquette and it doesn't make you look very good to other presenters and to your customers in, in the field, you know? And she came back and she said, oh, I didn't have my coffee yet. And she was in the first class today. And she did come up to me after the class and she was a bit teary-eyed and said, I'm so sorry, I didn't really grasp the importance of it. It really is important. You know, and she says, well, I just didn't know which group that was on or if it was in the profile. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it's at. Uplift them. If they've got a post, say, validate it. Say, yeah, you're right. This mascara is amazing. Here's a selfie of mine without your link. You know? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and please don't do that on corporate posts either. People always do that. They put their link on there. First of all, it's against the presenter agreement, and we will just delete it immediately. Don't do it, okay? There's no reason for drama. We do not want that name. We don't. We're, we're a classy company. We want to keep it classy. So. All right, let's keep going with do's and don'ts with Victoria. That could be like a TV show. Do's and don'ts with Victoria. All right, so um, some do's for you guys. Um, when you do post on your Instagram, make sure your caption is very exciting. Don't be boring with it, like, oh, um, 
<laughs> buy this mascara, my link is in my bio. You want to say things like, I'm obsessed with this 3D fiber lash mascara, this is the best mascara ever, like, you know, just so people are, like, going to look at it. Um, you do want to post consistently, um, like, at least once or twice a day on your Instagram. Um, I, like, I always think, everybody stresses consistency, and I want to stress it again. Um, I've been with Unique for 19 months, and um, my friends, really didn't support me. Some people have, you know, better support from their friends. And I've been doing this for 19 months and I've been so consistent and now all my friends are coming around saying, oh, they wanna join, I wanna join what you're doing and stuff like that. So always stay consistent, don't give up. So I wanna- Social media accounts needs to be of your face. No logo, nobody else's face. If it's my face, please take it down. <laughs> I, I come across so many accounts with my face. It needs to be your face. If you're afraid of taking a selfie and putting it up, you're just going to have to get over it, doll yourself up, and make a photo shoot. You have to put up your face. People need to know that you're real, so do that. Your Instagram bio needs to have your name. It needs to have your email address. You're a full-service company. You have to have customer support for your customers as well. Um, I have uh, my phone number in there. I have a business phone. If you do not have a second phone for business, Go to Google, you can sign up for a Google phone number. It's free, okay? You don't have to get one for your town. You can get one, you know, for a different zip code if you're that scared, okay? Um, any way to contact you, your website link needs to be clickable. There is a specific location for your website. That means if you go into your Instagram bio and you click it and it does not take you into a web browser, you're missing out on customers and potential recruits. That means that your link is not working. You have it in the wrong spot. So you need to double verify that, okay? Emojis, use emojis. If you follow me on Instagram, I have bullet points. My Instagram bio is very clean. It's straight to the point. It says what my status is, what my name is, what my email address is, what my phone number is, where to shop below, and my link. That's it, emojis. It has to catch their eye. There are 300,000 of us. The first thing that people see is the bio. So you have to catch that potential customer or that potential recruit's attention immediately by seeing your bio. So use emojis, they're eye catching. The other thing is, is don't just post makeup related sales posts. In the morning I do like a funny quote. The reason you wanna do this is because on Instagram there's a repost app. When your followers like things that you post and they repost it, guess what? Now you are getting a whole other target market seeing your stuff and your name is automatically on that post. It watermarks it. So if they like your content, they're gonna go and check you out. You've just gained more followers. What you don't want to do is comment on other presenters' things. Don't, there is no reason I need to go to your Instagram and look through your comments and do those things, okay? Stay in your lane, okay? <laughs> Stay in your little world that you've created, and you'll be okay. The other thing is, has anybody in here taken my seven daily task training a long time ago? Do you guys remember step number five where I said go reactivate an old picture by putting the hashtags in your comments? Don't do that anymore, you guys. Instagram has updated their rules. If you want your uh, picture to be searchable, the hashtags have to be in the description. If you forget to do it, you literally have five minutes to go back and edit it, put your hashtags in there, otherwise you have missed out on that picture being searchable, which means the only people that can see it are the ones that follow you. So don't miss out on people being able to search it. Also, when you get some time, do some research, and I want you guys to look for the banned hashtag list. There's hundreds of them. There's probably only banned, like no, stay away. Okay, 